everybody's angry. As today, we're talking about the Streamer Awards. This being their second ceremony, having last year awarding Code Miko as the best VTuber. And this year, that honor now going to V Shoujo's Iron Mouse. Earlier taking to Twitter to say, hello, I am girl, along with celebrating half a million views on her birthday concert video. That as Twitch.tv would place her here on the evil and chaotic access, leading to Mouse to remark, a little more to the right, please. Mouse had been nominated for two categories, including Best Chatting Streamer and also in the Best VTuber category, joining Shoto, Shy Lily, and V Shoujo's Vebe. And speaking of VTubers, now we turn to Booby. Hold on, wait, hold on. Sorry, uh, we turn to Connor, totally unrelated to Booby. My bad. As Sea Dog VA, a good friend of Mouse, was the one to encourage her to encourage others to vote for her. After voting was closed, Mouse would remark, I just wanted to say how honored I feel to be a part of this lineup. We have all had a pretty explosive year last year, and it's been a crazy ride. Can't wait to cheer on the winner. And here are the two arriving at the event, as Mouse, along with the other VTubers, were present with iPads. Sea Dog saying with the squad at the Streamer Awards, Mouse replying, I was just gonna tweet this one, but you beat me to it, along with also stating, bro, they took the pick before I could get ready, and I look like a sad cat. Cat. And yes, it's true, all the VTubers did have reserved seating. Mouse commenting further, sitting at a front table with Connor, this is so surreal. Also joining her was V Shoujo's Fruit, nominated in the category for Best Battle Royale Streamer. Fruit here saying, say hi if you see us, along with happy to be here. V Shoujo co-founder and CEO The Gun Run saying, I love the Streamer Awards Stargate, while V Shoujo co-founder and CTO Moten Do would confirm the coloring books aren't a joke. And then it was time for the awards with not only Connor winning, but then next, Iron Mouse for Best VTuber. Mouse admitting that she was so excited for Connor that she didn't hear her name called, later tweeting out, I can't believe it. Mouse then taken up on stage by Ludwig and receiving loads of congratulations, not just from those in V Shoujo, but numerous other VTuber and non-VTuber friends. But a moment before that is where things became scum. And let's count all of the ways. We, of course, have Iron Mouse on the top left. Then Vebe, incorrectly spelled, on the bottom left. On the bottom right, of course, we have Fruit, apparently who is here, labeled as Shy Lily. And on the top right, we have Shy Lily, labeled as Shoto. And then finally, as the cherry on top, or at this time, at the bottom, we have the best VTuber category, with the V separated from the tuber. This mix-up being noticed here, especially by V Shoujo. Zentrea saying, I knew it. Iron Mouse would go on to comment about numerous issues, but also giving it all the proper context. Uh, because I saw I saw a couple comments with people like saying, oh man, they hate VTubers. They were doing VTubers dirty. I'm like, I was so no. happy to see you when you inspired no, me and many others. Love you, it just girl. happens. Scuff is gonna happen, and it wasn't just to VTubers. It happened to everybody. But that's okay, because the event was amazing, and Cutie did a great job. Just at the end of the day, just think about it this way. This is one woman putting together a huge event. Noble at Lost Paws saying to this, I'm happy my friends and people I admire got the love for the streamer awards, but they really need to hire better quality checkers and editors next time because this is bad. So many errors here. Send the VTubers love. They are all winners. Mouse would go on to recommend that next time the organizers not seat the VTubers at the same table so as to not so easily be confused with one another, even recommending that the VTubers have their names on the iPads themselves. These iPads that included tracking so that the VTubers would automatically be facing those who were moving in front of them. Mouse also stating that many people were simply afraid to walk up to the iPads to talk to the VTubers as this is still so new for everyone. We did here have Pear giving us this representation of the event saying this is so funny. As the next day, Mouse would notice C's name trending on Twitter. That leading to her to read numerous comments like this 
this one next year for the VTubers. We can only hope. Along with Face Connect's Leah, stating Mousy has accomplished so many great things that not only makes me happy to be a regular VTuber, but proud of my heritage as a Puerto Rican VTuber. We also have I got nothing against Iron Mouse, but no Corpo Tuber is the best VTuber. In contrast, Iron Mouse was my very first role model for VTubing way back in 2020 and one of my main inspirations to finally learn Spanish. She's worked so hard and it's so nice to see good people achieve great things. Love you, Mousy. Also here with a rodent W. Bro crying right now, my Oshi. Yo, is this the virginity club? Mouse is consistently one of the most hardest working VTubers in the industry and has never let anything get to her, whether physically or mentally, and it's honestly deserved. Further, we have VTubers got their own section because none of them would have won sh otherwise. And as harsh as that is, it is true that while this year, VTubers were nominated in numerous categories, Iron Mouse was the only VTuber to bring home an award. Mouse being nominated for the Just Chatting category, along with Hassan Abi, who at the awards was actually sitting alongside Gunrun. Hassan going on to win that category and receiving a congratulations from Fruit, as she also went on to congratulate the winner of the Best Battle Royale category, stating I knew you were going to win, you're a cracked as frick gamer, and I love your content. Content. It was an honor for even being beside such amazing streamers. I'm overjoyed for even having the opportunity. I love my community. And then we had this deserto post. Receiving replies like, we really giving awards to JPEGs. Iron Mouse then going on to reply, let's go animated GIFs. We have more normie takes and plenty of pushback, including who watches streams like that. Nerd of the year award. 40 year old man with a voice changer, by the way. Mother effers really be watching people pretending to be Asian cartoons, along with if I lost to an iPad, I'd buy rope. Edder, please, no. There's so much to live for, including the VTuber rabbit hole. Here's a special one. We need to get rid of these. It's just as bad as NFTs and AI art. Well, of course, all these comments got plenty of pushback, such as this instance, normies when a VTuber won a VTuber award, and also VTuber haters when a voice actor plays some animated character. And we can't forget Iron Mouth when Copper Rat pulls up. The streamer awards were being aired to an audience of over 300,000 viewers on Twitch.tv, not including all of the re-hosting. So it's not too surprising that we got normie takes like this is giving me secondhand embarrassment or I dread the day any of these kids make it into any type of legal business or ownership management or any type of power position. I'm not religious, but may God help us all at that point. This user then being informed of Mouse's situation situation and further reacting. I read about that in another reply. I was mainly ranting about the generation of kids, but yeah, my bad for messing up. We also have this accurate tweet of signing a peace treaty with the machines. Mouse replying the animated gif comes in peace. Twitch was also on hand, capturing when Iron Mouse was saying hi to her mom. And yes, it was noticed that Twitch.tv did crop out Ludwig from the shot, as of course he had since left the platform for YouTube. Twitch would go on to reply to Iron Mouse's We Did It, I Can't Believe It with We Believe It. As after, Iron Mouse would confess. Gonna be honest, I was so nervous, I froze and I didn't know what to say. I was literally shaking and further stating, thank you to my amazing, precious family for all the love and support you have given me over the years. You guys are the best. I love you all. Thank you for changing my life and let's keep on making more memories together. We also have alleged sources and certainly not Iron Mouse herself leaking this on stream to 14,000 viewers that Iron Mouse and V Shoujo may soon hold their own VTuber awards, with numerous talks already occurring and with a small chance of occurring this year, but more likely next year in 2024. And yes, we do even have artwork of the event. Yumitsu giving us I'm catching up with the streamer awards. A small sketch for Iron Mouse. Congrats for the big achievement. Small, but very powerful. So next we're checking in with another nominee, that being Shy Lily, the Orca VTuber caught here following Lopi and reacting to the the iPad set up with this meme herself going on to give some constructive criticism about the iPad setup. Honestly, my biggest complaint would be that if we do the iPad thing again, I think it's a pretty decent alternative. But for the love of God, pretty, pretty please turn off noise cancellation of the devices. 
Lily going on to say it was basically impossible to hear anyone on the iPad except her handler. That is, Lily was actually performing in 3D on her iPad for the entire event, all taking place in the early morning hours for her. Lily would congratulate Mouse with, congrats, Mousey, you absolutely deserve it. So freaking proud of you and this awesome community. Mouse saying back, Lily, you are an incredible entertainer. And there was so much I wanted to say about how all you guys are incredible people, but I choked. I'm honored to be in a category with you in everyone else. I am proud of you too. Lily also posting, congratulations, Iron Mouse. You're such an inspiration for me and many others. I'm so glad that such an amazing person like you received the award. I'm so happy. Look how far we've gotten with the VTuber community. VTuber takeover. That is last week. Lily was teaming up with Mizkif and now earlier today with the cutest rain shaman. That's right. Hall Live Indonesia's Kobo Kanoru. Kobo earlier giving us the heads up. I will have a collab stream with Shy Willy. Womp womp. Kobo during the stream unsuccessfully trying to convince Lily that she was taller than her. Also nominated for the best VTuber category was V Shoujo's Vebe. Noticing that she was about to hit 1 million followers on Twitch.tv and now earlier this morning achieving that feat alongside two announcements saying for my 1 million follower goal, I asked for Vey as a name on Twitch. Thanks for making it happen, bros. Been asking for it for years. So to pop in replying congratulations, my love. I'm so proud of you. You work so hard for this. I know how badly you wanted it. OMG, I'm so happy for you. And we also had this announcement. Welcoming Vebe to Mythic, who represents industry-leading influencers and content creators like Shy Lily, alongside other VTubers, such as Camila, Imp VTuber, who is re-debuting on July 10th, and who also noticed that she was seen during the Streamer Awards. That is part of this huge graphic of numerous streamers on the Twitch.tv platform. As also with Mythic Talent, we have iCandy, as Candy could be found on the outer edge. And attending the Streamer Awards as viewers was not only the funny skunk Twitch partner Tob, but also the half-demon Numi. Taking a photo with Shy Lily and Shoto and then receiving this reply from Vey, you're all so hot, WTF. And speaking of Shoto, the guild leader, rogue boy, and demon slayer, along with also being the fourth nominee in the best VTuber category. Tweeting out, they got me stuck on the iPad. If you see me, come say hi. Nichisanji English's Uki noticing the plate in front of him and saying, you gonna eat that? Shoto replying to Uki with, dude, my point of view is literally just people eating delicious food and drinks in front of my face. That inspiring Sui Sui's poor Shoto can't eat his food artwork. Shoto going on to say congratulations Congrats to Mousy, big deserve. As Mouse would reply to him, dude, you have done so much and you've gotten so far, I am proud of you. Like I told Lily, I am honored to have been nominated next to you guys. This year is gonna be even bigger for you. We are taking over. And yes, Shoto did notice the mix up saying, I guess I'm shy Lily now. Lily replying, I'm Shoto now. And no, the mix ups didn't end there. As when it came to the category for best battle royale streamer, not only was the camera on Fruit's iPad, but also Shoto's at the same time, so the two of them just shared the same box together. And another nominee for Best Art Streamer was Vyugan's Dia Riku, reacting with, it meant the world to even get nominated. I love you guys. Let's keep up the amazing work. Also this weekend with V Shoujo, we had Haruka Karabu reacting to Mouse's win with, I'm still crying. Mousy, you did it. I'm so proud. You deserve it so much. That is Zentreya noticed these balloons on Haruka Karabu's Twitter account, saying, get her. Haruka reacting, it's my birthday since when? V Shoujo going on to tweet out, stop on by and wish Haruka Karabu a happy birthday today during her celebration stream. That's right, the moose is on the loose saying, it's my birthday I completely forgot. But hey, I have something cool to show you guys. One of those cool things being a birthday merch release. This merch available until March 27th, including a body pillow cover, celestial spirit hoodie, and t-shirts. Those last two pieces of artwork coming from Sushi Dog. Stating I had the honor to draw Haruka's beat day merch, happy birthday, along with never thought I would draw for a company or for my idol. If I haven't become a VTuber, this could not have happened. So many of my long shot dreams became true. I am thankful for this community and thank you V Shoujo for being kind and giving me a chance. Also wishing Haruka a happy birthday was Nijisanji English's Remu Indo, saying, hope you have an awesome day today full of love and all the food you love. And the well wishes did not end there as we also have cooking VTuber Giri, calling Haruka the loveliest caribou ever. 
and also noticing that she made it into the streamer awards stating i've always felt like i've been floating on a small isolated island when it comes to streaming so it means a lot to be included in the reel at the streamer awards i'm so happy clarifying guys i was literally at a family dinner and no way this was the caption during my clip as when geary was shown on the reel the narrator at the time was saying but as long as you don't whip your <laughs> out further we had geary tweeting this out i went to costco and splurged on a box of kit kat popsicles then going on to receive this reply from discord pro geo guessers it's time to analyze those telephone poles geary replying somewhere snowy in canada while discord also got the reply i know this is supposed to be a light-hearted comment but are you asking people to try doxing geary that then receiving the reply of no we are trying to dox those ice cream bars and further along today we're back to iron mouse what the hell all right uh back up as back on january 13th mouse made this announcement for an outfit design contest saying my top five favorite designs will receive one thousand dollars each and will be made into outfit creations for my model this contest running until february 10th and now as of yesterday iron mouse chose the winners but not just five winners no she chose 35 winners and then even allowed two more winners to be voted on by chat totaling 37 winners in all meaning she is paying out $37,000 for this contest this morning mouse would say man this contest was incredible but also heartbreaking there were so many talented entries and I really wish I could have said yes to all of them I am forever humbled and grateful that so many of you took time out of your lives to create such wonderful works of art thank you so what's next for mouse well it turns out she has plans alongside sea dog va himself winning for his cyclothon event and announcing the cyclothon 2.0 event set for march 18th this event running for nine days straight and likely involving plenty of iron mouse and totally unrelated very lastly we finally have a good look at that booby mike ty here saying i wanted to showcase one of my works i did as an artist for 7mc and iron mouse the mic features a digital screen mic body with a toggled sound bar i had a lot of fun working on this and i hope you guys like it and now we are back Back with our co-host Cody here now with even more things VTubers say. Hi hi everyone, she's in the real world and will trade you coffee for Yubi. That being Hololive's doggo VTuber Inogami Korone, who is just one of the many VTubers featured on the brand new design for the Hololive Productions official website. Bringing your favorite idols into the real world, Korone's photo includes her giving you a coffee or so she thought, as fans are taking the new images as an opportunity for meme templates, such as this one saying Korone's stream isn't finished yet. Don't sleep, okay? While others suggested that Korone is stealing the coffee, resulting in the doggo to tweet, stop saying I'm taking coffee away from the person doing overtime. I'm giving them coffee. Hololive Indonesia's Kobo shared a tweet specifically asking for memes, leading to fans just editing the image on the phone instead. Other VTubers who have featured in the new ads include the cosplaying bunny Usada Pekora, waving hello or maybe goodbye as she tries to escape from the other cosplayer, Hosho Marine. We also have Shurakami Fubuku's feet, the musical power duo of Suisei and Kali, as well as Gura on a train. The new daily life ads can be found in Shinjuku and Shibuya Station and show how many YouTube subscribers each of the featured talent have or had as the Gura ad displays 4.27 million fans. But as of today, she's picked up 20,000 more. In other news, we turn to the CEO and best girl, Yago. We see here rocking a snazzy cardigan, just like Nodoka, and showing off some merch available at the upcoming Super Expo. Yago was recently on a live stream alongside Shishiro Botan and Omar Polka to play Hololive's Metaverse, Hollow Earth, and also to answer some fans' questions. During the stream, we got to see some of the customization in the game, as well as Yago fighting a wild bear. Viewers were quick to point out that Yago's polygon count on his 3D model is awesome. Additionally, he was also turned into a giant cardboard cutout thanks to Tobin Jacobs, who went a step further to create life-sized, height-accurate versions of every member of Hollow Pro. Next up, we visit the idol, Azki. Normally known for her singing, she's made headlines on Yahoo Japan, thanks to her GeoGuessr streams. GeoGuessr, a geography game where players try to identify a location based on a random Google Street View landscape, is known for its high level of difficulty. As Yahoo puts it, Azki has an unexpected talent in this game and managed to pull off a zero error achievement, finding the location within zero meters in one minutes, 11 seconds. The Yahoo article describes Azki
Yasuki is going from a singing diva to a geography king. In birthday news, we check out Murasaki Shion, who celebrated her birthday with a 3D concert called Lucky Junkie Happy Live. Filled with skits and songs, there were four guests invited to the live, which include Chloe, Okayu, Nene, and Suisei. Additionally, the Kusagaki Shion also released a new cover of Tokyo Shandy Rendezvous to top off the concert. Also celebrating a birthday is Hololive Indonesia's Anya Melfisa, who celebrated her birthday 2023 by hosting an endurance call stream until she talked to 23 different people. As part of her birthday, Oli gave Anya some Oli buns, making her Banya, and Anya also released a new cover of La Vie. In other Hololive ID news, we revisit the Rain Shaman Kobo, who just recently had an Overwatch collab stream with the Orca, Shy Lily, reminding her to wake up, womp womp, and whose escapades with the Ozora police were documented and animated into a cute little cartoon by user Super Appleman, who titled it Kobo Jailbreak. Next up, we check out the blacksmith Kayela Kowalskia, who has only gone ahead and achieved 100% completion of Holocure after previously losing her data. Ella added a cheeky little message during the stream, saying, update doko, no pressure. All of this taking place while the developer KU has taken a vacation in Japan for the first time, with Iroh Project creating this lovely little comic, documenting the experience. Lastly, we take a look at Mojo, the fighting game fan, who took to Twitter to share a trailer for Hollow Heaven, a fan-made fighting game. They went on to say it's a personal project with no planned public release date, but the dream is to have it ready for open beta one day. And before we get back to the studio, the TVS clip compilation for February is now available for viewing thanks to Helping Hand. And I have a schedule this week where we'll be celebrating St. Patrick's Day with games, as well as collabing with Iron Nova, Akuma Azashi of Ethereal Project, and Lady K of Night Parade. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you so much, Cody. And again, thanks to Hattori for this version of the Cody artwork, as this is the week. That's right. This Friday, March 17th, pre-orders are open for our upcoming 26-ounce stainless steel ice shaker, available from Advanced GG. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.